Hello, welcome in this SAP video tutorial. Today's discussion topic is uh, how to link maintenance order during temporary advance settlement. Okay, so uh, first very important point how to link maintenance order during temporary advance settlement. For linking maintenance order expenditure during temporary advance settlement, the below steps to be followed. While creating temporary advance settlement under the cost object column, select order number under the CO account column, fill in the maintenance order. See, this is the temporary advance settlement screen. This is the CO object. Under the CO object, there is a cost center WBS element order number network. So, we should select order number okay here under the cost object we need to fill the maintenance order number fine by selecting order number in the cost object column cost will be traced through the maintenance order for equipment finally it is settled at cost center that is defined in the maintenance order okay finally it is settled at the cost center that is the defined in the maintenance order after final approval of the temporary advance settlement by the competent authority, this cost can be seen under actual cost in cost tab of the maintenance order. You can see uh, using IW33 on in maintenance order actual cost tab. Okay. So second, uh, you can refer this note. The only steps on how to link a maintenance order in the temporary advance are shown. Remaining flow for processing the maintenance order and the temporary advance settlement are to be followed in the usual way. Okay. The second most important point. I have incurred expenditure on the sweeping charges. Whether I have to create the maintenance order? No. Maintenance, maintenance order is to be created only for the expenditure under the repair and maintenance head. Below are the some example computer maintenance okay rnm line and wire rnm cable rnm operators and plant rnm building rnm motor vehicles subscriber installations rnm installation and test equipment mast and aerial staff quarters rnm furnitures rnm office equipments these are few rnm head where you can uh, take in, in this head where you can take the temporary advance and settle through the maintenance order. The third very important uh, points. Uh, I have a cable fault and about 10 vouchers to claim in the temporary advance set account. Whether I have to create 10 maintenance orders. So we will see and understand with the two cases. First case, if the 10 vouchers are related to 10 different maintenance instances, that is for the different repairs on the different dates, individual maintenance notifications and individual maintenance order need to be created for each voucher. The second case, if above 10 vouchers are related to single maintenance event oblique activity, only one notification and one MO need to be created and all the 10 vouchers can be settled in the same MO in the case. Okay, hope you understand. The fourth very important points. I have a total number of 10 vouchers to claim in the temporary advance account. Due to amount exhausting in the current advance, I am able to claim only 4 bills. In current advance, can I claim remaining 4 bills, remaining 6 bills in the next advance without creating an additional MO? Yes, no need to create additional MO but refer point number 3 A and B. Okay, 3 A and B. Okay. Fifth is very important. I have incurred repair and maintenance expenditure on equipment for which equipment number is not available in SAP. How can I create a maintenance order for linking to temporary advance account? So uh, equipment is not available in SAP. So because of two cases. First case is if the equipment was already existing and commissioned before go live itself. But by mistake, the data was not submitted in the concern PM master data template during go live. Then raise a PIE CISO in ERP portal by submitting the details of the equipment that is to be created. Okay. Second one. Second case. If the equipment is installed public commission after go live, please ensure to get the corresponding asset created through PS, WBS, public FICO modules first and then raise a PIS on ERP portal by submitting the details of the equipment to PM, MDM 
along with the asset number and functional location. Hope you understand. Without equipment number available in SAP, you are not supposed to create a maintenance order. Okay. Sixth point, very important. I have incurred a repair and maintenance expenditure on electrical fitting such as replacing burnt out tubes, chokes, bulb etc for which no equipment is available in SAP. How can I create a maintenance order? Generally equipment namely EI and fans is available in every building public functional location for this purpose. Please select that equipment while creating maintenance order in such cases. If EI and fans is not available as equipment in your building Please get that created by following the process as already explained in point number 5. Fine. Is it necessary that the MO is to be created by a person who is claiming in the temporary advance account? No, it is not necessary that both the person should be the same. Expenditure linkage is concerned with equipment number, oblique maintenance activity only, not with the person. 8. Very important confusion. I have created a maintenance order and linked to temporary advance account also. When I have to set the status of MO2 technically complete, MO created for the purpose of linking expenditure should not be set to the status TECO unless the temporary advance settlement is final approved by competent authority. Hope you understand. I have already set the status of MO2 TECO and my temporary advance account is still not yet final approved by the competent authority. What shall I do? Okay. Open the maintenance order in IW32. Okay. Change in edit mode. Okay. Go in the order menu. Go in the function sub menu. Go in the complete sub menu. Go in the cancel technical completion. Then your then you can say your maintenance order will came in. Uh, REL mode, release mode, okay. Okay, how can I know that my temporary advance settlement is final approved or not? You can always check oblique track the status by using transaction code ZFA069 oblique underscore 2 underscore 2 in display mode by going to history tab, okay. Going to history tab in history tab, it is approved, okay. So you can check the status of temporary advance. When I have created maintenance order on a functional location at the time of releasing order, system is directed to directing to a page maintenance settle maintain settlement rule overview. What shall I do there? MO is not supposed to be created on functional location. It should always be created on equipment. When maintenance order is created on equipment, it never asks for maintain settlement rule, as this cost center data is already available in equipment master so don't don't create uh, maintenance order on functional location always create maintenance order on equipment okay because uh, naturally uh, the maintenance activity you have done on the equipment itself okay so these are a few very important points which I have d discussed with you all guys okay and if you think this is useful video for you and please press a like it will support and give us motivation and please share this knowledge with your friends and colleagues who are frequently working in the these areas of SAP and if you're new on my youtube channel ERP SAP team please subscribe my youtube channel okay we I and our team frequently upload the video on uh, basic SAP topic in the different different functional modules okay and don't forget to uh, press the bell icon for my latest video uploads notifications okay so thank you for watching see you in the next video bye bye take care